This is the start of a 4-bit breadboard computer called the Cheap Homebrew Understandable Minimal Processor, or Chump for short, designed by Dave Feinberg. So far, the build consists of a clock, a program counter, a program EEPROM, and a custom-made program that is stored inside. Power is supplied through a barrel jack input that is regulated to 5 volts through a 7805 voltage regulator. Like all other processors, the Trump's heartbeat is a clock signal that synchronizes all Trump components to properly execute instructions simultaneously. This clock build is based off of Ben Eater's clock design with a few modifications. It consists of an A-stable and monostable 555 timer for the option of a varied automatic or debounce manual clock pulse, respectively, but opts for a simple single-pole double-throw switch with a pull-down resistor at the output to switch between clock modes. The pull-down resistor is there to prevent the output pin from floating when moving the switch. These changes, along with the removal of the halt line that pauses the clock, produces a circuit with the same functionality in half the space, leaving more room for extra trump peripherals. Next is the program counter circuit consisting of the SN74LS161 program counter and the SN74LS00 NAND gate IC that keeps track of what line number the program is at through its binary outputs. It increments by 1 every clock pulse and rolls back to 0 after 15 is shown due to its 4-bit output restriction, thus the trump programs can only be up to 16 lines in length. The program can be reset to line number 0 through a low input on the clear pin and can also be set to a certain line number corresponding to the binary inputs on the data input pins. This is achieved through two high inputs, triggering a low on the output of the NAND gate, therefore activating the load pin which loads the line number on the rising edge of the next clock pulse. For now, these inputs are simulated with two push buttons and will be replaced with inputs from other parts of the trump circuit in the final build. The next part of the trump is the program EEPROM circuit which stores and outputs a custom-made sketch, coded in Feinberg's Trumpanese assembly language. The EEPROM shown is the AT28C16, which can store up to 2048 addresses through its 11 address pins, each holding an 8-bit number. To program it, an EEPROM burner circuit was built with an Arduino Nano where it flashes the Trumpanese code written on the Arduino IDE to the EEPROM. Since the programs are limited to 16 lines, 4 addresses are used while the rest are grounded. These addresses connect back to the outputs of the program counter so the output shown on the bar graph corresponds to the 8-bit code inside the line number address. This 8-bit code consists of a 4-bit opcode, instructing what operand to use and a 4-bit constant, defined as a data value, a RAM address, or a line number depending on the operand. Shown on screen is the Trumpanese instruction set linking the opcode to the operands. By way of explanation, I will walk through a custom program written by myself in Trumpanese that takes in an input number and outputs the squared value in the 4-bit accumulator, which is the Trump's output. Line 0 sets the accumulator equal to the input value, in this case 3, and lines 1 and 2 store this accumulator value into RAM addresses 5 and 6. The next line sets a line number to 14 if the accumulator equals 0, which it currently does not, so the program counter increments by 1. 1 is subtracted from the accumulator and the corresponding output is written to RAM address 5. The address variable is set to 7 and the accumulator outputs the value in RAM address 7, which I assume is 0. The address variable is then set to 6 and the accumulator is added by the value in address 6 of RAM. This value is stored to address 7 and the accumulator becomes the value in address 5. The program counter is set to line 3 and the code repeats until the output of the accumulator is 0 when located on line 3, in which case the PC jumps to 14 and the accumulator displays the output of address 7 and terminates. This example code is clunky and can be reduced in line numbers, but I could not figure out how to do that in time for this week's submission, since it gave me a massive headache to create it in the first place. In fact, a current problem exists where one must disconnect and reconnect power to set the RAM addresses to zero, assuming they do so, to begin the program again. So rest assured that this code will be shortened and improved in time for the final chump build that will include the rest of the components.